watching Magnus Samuelsson win his title. That was really the first time I thought this was a great spectacle. I'd love to do it one day. The inspiration for me to really kick on is getting that first invite to Giants Live. I was suddenly competing against guys that I'd seen on TV. Big Z, Big Brian Shaw, to be in the same room with these guys was suddenly, wow, really pull my finger out and get going. been a bit of a numbers geek. I like to see progression in my training. So for me, it's more of the process than the title. If you get into strongman looking for fame and fortune, then you're in the wrong sport. For a competition, I'll start training at 13 weeks out. I'll do a 12 week training cycle consisting of three different training blocks. And then I'll have one week of tapering, a long, slow process. It's a very simple method. I've used it for a long, long time. I don't think you need to overcomplicate it, but the key is just to make your workout brutal. And if I have a really good week, it doesn't mean I'm gonna jump the weight up the next week. It just means I'm on track. It's fantastic to be competing kind of at the top level of strongman, to be competing against guys that I've seen on TV and from fellow athletes. It's really incredible. It's really a dream come true. I guess on the circuit, I'm kind of known as more of a technical strongman in terms of the way I lift. I try and lift everything with good form and technically sound. And that was born out of a couple of things. First, I'm a strength and conditioning coach, so I spend the whole day looking at form and technique. And the second reason is when I first started out in strongman, in terms of static strength, I was miles behind people. So I had to find out and work out the most efficient way. And that's why I kind of really focused on my form. The aim for World's Choice Man is to make the final. I've had two crushing years where I've just missed out on the final. I missed off by half a point, and the other being with my torn bicep. I did most events with one arm, going into a winner takes all on stones, and I was just beaten by the better man on the day. That was tough, even though I was leading at that time. It left me with a big disappointment because I knew that I should have been in that final. So for me, I really want to get into that final day. Welsh Strongest Man's a unique event. It's extremely draining. It's a big achievement to make that final. I don't think people realise how tough it is to get into that top 10. Massive emphasis on my stone training now because stones are a highly valued event. So you need to be fantastic at stone lifting. And that's, that's what I've kind of gone away and really focused on. So that's it. Training done. Food time. Food is probably the most difficult part of being a strong man, trying to eat you know, huge quantities of food. I've got a pretty weird relationship with food now. I'm not really supposed to be as heavy as I am. My family are all naturally very lean and tall, and so I've had to work really hard to put the muscle tissue on, and I need to get heavier to compete with big boys. My diet at the moment is like Groundhog Day. It's the same meal repeated several times in the day, just because it's a lot easier for me to cook up large batches of food with my busy schedule. I actually had some beef stew with some rice this morning. And I'll have that another four or five times in the day with a double serving post-training. Also have some kind of oats and some uh, weight gainer shakes in and around those meals just to try and keep the weight going on. Alongside my stuff with the strongman, I'm also the head of strength conditioning at Harlequins Rugby. beautiful British weather, it's frosty, it's freezing outside. Uh, we're on the way to the Stoops, going through their plays and doing some uh, final preparations for our game tomorrow. It's more about getting the team ready because we're just over 24 hours out from playing a game. The guys will come in, and make sure our strategy is right for the weekend. Sports are very, very different. I mean, rugby is obviously a very social sport. You're working as a 15-man team. Strongman, you're on your own, really. I guess one's very social, and sometimes strongman can be very antisocial. When you're playing rugby, you go out after a game, have a couple of beers. In strongman, you don't go out. You're in bed early because you've got a big training session the next day, and you know that you've only got a limited number of chances. Right, guys. Race. It was quite a slow process, me kind of transitioning from rugby to strongman, but it was basically just a big shift in my training. I didn't have to do all the running, all the fitness that I needed for rugby. For me, I decided to go really, really slowly. I just pushed my body up a little bit each year and just try and make small marginal gains in all my lifts.
The first time I deadlifted was when I was up at Loughborough and I managed to pull uh, 200 for three. Definitely strong for my age and weight for a rugby player. The way I kind of transitioned and, and focused the move on to strongman was a lot more static lifts around big compound lifts. It was a big focus on just heavier training. This is probably my favourite session of the week. I love deadlifting, which is good because I've got a lot of them to do tonight. But yeah, definitely my, my favourite session of the week. Deadlift is such a huge event for strongman. You, you don't get a good strongman who is not a good deadlifter. You have to have a strong back to be a good strongman. Without that, you would just not succeed. I'll be deadlifting like once a week. Strongman's really back heavy, so you can't be hammering multiple deadlift sessions in a week because you're already picking up sandbags and stones on another day. favourite event is uh, is deadlift. It's something that's always come naturally to me. I really enjoy training it. It usually gives me good points, uh, whether it's for max or for repetitions. It's the process for me. It's setting a plan in place and then seeing that through and seeing how much I get stronger by. The aim is to win Britain's Strongest Man. That's what we're all there for. You know, with Eddie stepping down, there's a big void now in British Strongman and we're all clambering over each other to try and fill that void. And I want it to be me. So we're here at the, uh, the Fly DSA Arena in Sheffield. Uh, it's time for Britain's Strongest Man. It feels like it's been a massively long build up for this one. Really good, so I'm just gonna uh, try not to think too much about the comp. Stay chilled as much as I can and I'll be good to go. Even when I was playing rugby, I've always suffered with nerves to the point where I'm getting to a strongman comp and I'm, I'm thinking, nah, I think I'll just turn around and not compete. As soon as I'm at the venue and I hear the crowd, suddenly that all just subsides and you go into kind of, you know, robot mode. I've kind of visualised the event several times in my head by then. I've done all the hard work. All I need to do now is execute my plan. First went the log press, came back hard for the frame carry, managed to get a uh, like 8.28. I knew if I stayed ahead of Terry it would be quick, because Terry's a fantastic frame carrier. I was ahead of him and it felt quick, so yeah, I was pretty happy after it, you know. Onto the deadlift. You can't help but hear 12,000 people screaming at you, it's just a big wall of noise. You can hear the volume growing, especially if you're doing well and they try and G you up, and that really helps you dig that extra little bit deeper. Deadlift, went really, really well, so I managed to win that one with 12. Took a lot out of me trying to get that, that last rep out. Good to get another event win. and moves me right up the table, so really happy with that. It's an absolute long buster. I wanted to win that one, but chipping away at them. So going to the stones really good place. All out attack for the stones. You just have to go at it, and if you make a mistake, you make a mistake. Here we go! 
stones last event. I got second on that, which gave me the points. Fortunately, it wasn't enough to topple Hixie. I've got a bronze trophy at the World Tour Finals in September. I've got a silver trophy now, so next one's got to be gold. sport to be the world's strongest man. Anyone who says otherwise is lying. Uh, we all dream of it, but everyone's got a different timeline. For me, my timeline's a little bit longer than most because you know, I've got a full-time job. So I'm trying to be a full-time strength and conditioning coach and a full-time strongman. It's just about getting a little bit better each year and then see where that takes me.